guy of news bring DC Comics Legends, and I just want to get this out of the way. This, though this is uploaded on April 1st, this is not a joke. This is actual um, in the game. Just yesterday, um, we, we got uh, three new characters, all of which I am very, very excited for. I'm very, very happy with the game. I was actually thinking, or I wrote a list of some characters that I was in the game and I was going to do a video about that and uh, all I think all three of these characters were on the list so I am very excited to that they are here um, but without wasting any time let's get into it and these characters um, first up we have um, probably one of my favorite ones or one of the ones I've been wanting uh, for a while scroll down here keep the suspense first up I'm going to talk about where is she there she is this is an Ivy. Uh, this is a Batman villain that I have wanted. Uh, and, you know, I want a lot of Batman villains uh, to come into the game. So I'm excited when any of them come in. But this one I am quite excited about. I do like the, the Poison Ivy character. She's a uh, she's a unique character. So I'm, I'm excited to see uh, what her abilities uh, will do. And we should get her uh, pretty early. Um, she is the April... Um, the April uh, daily log in uh, character uh, in total. If you log in every day for the month of April, you will get uh, 80 poison ivy fragments, which uh, I should have done this in my head. Uh, it'll allow you to get the character and I think rank her up. I think twice you should at least get her up to a three star. I believe usually that's the average, um, but you'll get uh, 80, fra 80 fragments for her there plus in the uh, hero challenge we have in just over a day we have the start of the poison ivy um event um i believe this is going to be a seven day event uh saying that it can earn up to 500 poison ivy uh, fragments i believe those are the seven day events so that will be nice you can get her ranked up even more currently it is uh doomsday i think i played through a couple of those yesterday um, but yeah, so Poison Ivy, I am, uh, quite excited for. I'm not gonna go over, um, any of her stuff, any of the stuff just yet, uh, at least, like, the bio and that. I'll save that for the re review, because that one should be coming out, uh, quite, uh, soon. Uh, but just talk about the attacks here. We've got Snap Trap, Feralman, Feralman Kiss, Toxin Transfer, Cross Pollination, and anaph anaphylactic, uh, anaphylactic Touch. So it looks like she's got, I just want to see, can we view these at all? So we got one attack, let's see what we got here, we got, ooh, we got a, a heal, so it looks like we've got, alright, so it looks like we've got one attack, uh, two stat boosts to, um, teams, we got, or the passive ability, the cross pollination and the pheromone, pheromone kiss are passive abilities that affect your teammates. The Toxin Transfer is a heal, and uh, the Snap Trap is her only attack. So maybe that's a little bit of a disappointment. It would have been nice to see. Uh, well, maybe, maybe I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there will be other attacks. Uh, I believe, well, this does involve debuffing um, other t or your enemy, and... Yeah, so, yeah, it's just, it seems like we've got some stat boost there. I've been, like I was gonna say, like I was gonna say um, it would have been nice to see some more plant-based attacks. I can definitely see, like, her calling up, like, a giant, uh, you know, Venus flytrap or something and just, like, chowing down on your enemy or something like that. Maybe that's what the snap trap is, but maybe more stuff like that, kind of like maybe swamp things she calls it, the plants that they come down and crash on top of the opponent, or they, they just come up and they attack, um... Your opponent would have been maybe nice to see a bit more of that, but we'll see uh, the character in review, which should be coming out shortly. I think we'll get her in. Let's so go back and check the login thing here. I mean, with the the five that we'll get uh, later today, plus the ten there, we should get her by at least Wednesday, um, but though likely sooner um, because I will be playing the event, um, so we should get her before that. So that should be coming out within the next day or so. Or right, well. Oh, depending on when the event starts in over in about a day. So uh, when that starts, we will uh, probably do maybe do a video on that, but we'll at least get the review on Poison Ivy out. Uh, but yeah, so that is the first character. Second character um, is one just overall I am super excited for because she is very similar to one character that I very I want very much so, but I very much like her too. Next, we're going to talk about Killer Frost, and I am... 
very excited. Like, the character that I really want to come into the game is uh, Mr. Freeze, but Killer Frost is just as good. I really wanted an ice character uh, in the game, and this is what this is one that I think is a very good fit. This is another, or I really did want uh, Killer Frost in there in general, but uh, I'm excited to see that we get that we get her. She looks really cool from this one picture we got here, the hundred uh, hero fragments. Um, at this point, as you can see by my gem count, I can buy this pack. It would be all the gems that I have, and I'm actually looking at doing that. Um, and that may be a review. I might actually be even doing that later today. So that video might be coming out uh, in a little bit, at least after this video. But um, yeah, so this is one character in general I'm excited about just because of the ice class, or she's kind of like an ice character. But of course, for me, the perfect character to come out would be Mr. Freeze. But uh, just to touch on her attacks or her abilities here, we've got one attack. Um, ooh, a stun, just a straight stun, that is very nice, we got one attack, a stun, another attack, and the passive ability, so this actually, um, I'm actually now really excited about buying, uh, Killer Frost, because that is awesome to have a stun, and then two attacks, that is a very nice combination, at least I think it is a very nice combination, so, um, but yeah, just overall, this is one here. I'm excited. At this point, this 100 uh, Hero Fragments is the only way you can get her. Um, it doesn't look like she'll be in any events, in the at least for a ne for the next little while. Um, and she's not in, and she may be in a PvP arena, but right now, I think it's Green Arrow that's in there. But um, at least right now, this 100 Hero Fragment Pack is the only way that you can get her. And I've been saving up to buy one of these 100 Hero Fragment Packs, so I think I'm going to do that with uh, Killer Frost because she sounds like she's going to be really awesome. So... Um, I'm either going to record that later today or tomorrow, so that will be coming out within the next day or so, um, so you can stay tuned for that as well. Uh, but moving on to the last character uh, that is available, this is another one that just, I think is a, a very good fit for the game. Um, just with the kind of like the gameplay style and that, I think she's going to fit in really well. We kind of got a quick look at her when I was taking a look at the Poison Ivy Arena. Our third uh, character that joined in is Katana, and this is one that, just in general, I think just because of her her character and that she fits very well into the game, kind of a hand-to-hand -hand combat kind of character, um, and it'll be interesting to see what they do with her sword and that, what kind of effects that will have on um, the opponents, because uh, if you remember right, basically her sword, when she kills somebody with it, their soul is trapped in the sword, so it'll be interesting to see if maybe they have a special effect for her that uh, though when like they don't not or when they attack somebody even if they don't kill them if they have some sort of debuff on them that would be nice to see maybe we'll find that out um, later on uh, this or this character I don't think we'll get right away just because she's not available yet um, I forget when the uh, the event is I'm just gonna go double check on that the hero challenge starts in a week so we won't get her for a little while yet unless she comes out in another like special offer or something but if I'm gonna buy the Killer Frost set I may not have um, enough to Katana but I, I'm fine with that we'll, we'll get her uh, as soon as we can she's not very high in the fragment number you only need 25 to unlock her which is nice this is one I could have seen them going for 50 fragments or even nine maybe not not, not not necessarily 90 but at least 50 this is I mean I'm, I'm a little surprised there wasn't one out of these three that was for 50 fragments we've got one one at 25 for Katana Poison Ivy and Killer Frost both uh, cost 10 fragments to unlock, so that's nice. It's their lower, uh, for lower players, it's easier to get the character. But uh, we take a look, just quick look at the attacks here. We've got one attack. Uh, this is passive ability, gain critical up. We've got second attack. Uh, and then we've got two passive abilities. Oh, passive ability and team leader ability. So this is the one that it looks like it's going to touch on the powers of her sword. Um... Looks like it maybe increases. It looks like it has, increases uh, critical damage. Um, yeah, and this one looks like it steals a buff from the target, so that can be nice. So I'm, I've so it looks like they've worked uh, maybe the powers of her sword in there at least a little bit. Um, but in general, this is one character I am excited to see uh, what her attacks will do. Uh, but we're not going to touch on the bio. We haven't touched on the other two either. We're going to wait for the actual character reviews to go over the bio just to keep this one as short as possible. And now that I've gone over them, that is just about it. That's one to uh, talk about just the three new characters. I'm very excited for all of them. Uh, but let me know what you think about the three new characters in the comments below. And uh, I think that's it for this video. So if you like the video, 
make sure you give the video a thumbs up and if you like this kind of stuff we got lots of it coming out all the time so feel free to subscribe to the channel um, and like I said let me know what you think about the three new characters in the comments below and usually I don't ask this but I would really appreciate uh, you guys sharing my videos and try and you know bring your friends over let them check out the channel if they're into this kind of stuff you know try and get them to subscribe I would really appreciate that but uh, yeah so that is it taking a brief look at the three new characters in uh, DC Comics Legends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.